discuss about the Shepherd lemma as in the last lecture of the properties of the expenditure function we discussed that there are the five property and the fifth property was the Shepherd lemma and uh, what is the Shepherd lemma we discussed that uh, it's very simple if we have an expenditure function an expenditure function the general form is that we may have the prices and utility simple and uh, if we have the Hessian demand function and let's suppose if we have the two commodity case x and y so we have the Hessian demand function in the uh, prices and in the utility so again this is the in the prices and utility and if we have the y Hessian demand function and uh, the prices and utility so these are Hessian demand function and the expenditure function agar aapke paas expenditure function available hai. only this function is available and someone is says that we have the expenditure function and now you want to uh, calculate the Hitchin demand function you need up expenditure minimization ki problem say up your pass exam next to the now the expenditure function is available and calculate the Hitchin demand function or calculate the demand function. Hitchin demand function be used word new the let's suppose simple demand function. So don't be confused with that ke hum a khali expenditure function honing a bath kaise Hitchin demand function nikal sate. We are uh, uh, just already given here Hitchin demand function and expenditure function. And because we have calculated these Hitchin demand function and expenditure function in the earlier lectures. So what is happening? Simple. कि इसको कैसे calculate किया और ये कैसे आई ये आपको Hitchin demand function के lecture में और expenditure minimization के function में आपको मिल सकते हैं आपसे lemma Shepherd lemma says that if we take the derivative partial derivative of expenditure function with respect to prices, let's suppose P I. So we will get basically the demand function of the ith commodity it's very simple so now if we are uh, going to take the partial derivative of price of x so we will get the basically the demand function of x and we know that if we are using the shepherd lemma so these function will be called the Hitchin demand function mean compensated demand function mean ke constant utility ke saath exponential minimization ke saath jo aapne demand functions drive kiye hai so if we have this expenditure function so how can we get this demand function okay let's see uh, we have basically uh, uh, p of x and if we take the derivative of this function with respect to p of x so we will have 3 over 4 in the uh, um, uh, in the multiplication in the base and v will same and the power will be subtracted from minus one okay then we will have py and py power is one over four and we have four over three three power three over four now we solve it four has been cancelled out and there are 3 power 1, 3 power 1, 3 over 4. So, if we have to go up, so power 1 minus 3 over 4. This is 3 we have decision. Now, we have V in simple multiplication, and the Px power uh, will be minus 1 over 4, and Py power will be 1 over 4. This is a total solution. So can we write in this form okay, if we will be outside and all have the power of 1 over 4 and these two these one and these two in the positive so in way they will be in the numerator and it will be in the denominator because due to the negative power and we will take the whole power 1 over 4. So what is it? Is it the same one? So we can simply say that if you have the expenditure function and if you will take the partial derivative with respect to the commodities price, so you will get the demand function. Let's see the other one. 
the expenditure function with respect to the py and simply if we take the derivative of the py so v is the same one and power will be in the base px power 3 over 4 is same and p power power minus 1 and this is the 4 over 3 power 3 over 4 same one then again the 4 will be cancelled out and this is a p power 3 over 4 and again it will have the p power 3 over 4 but it will in the negative so if it will be in the negative and v is the same one this one and this one so only p power 3 over 4 will be in the numerator and this will have also power 3 over 4 but in the negative so to make it positive so we will move from in the numerator to denominator and the power will be 3 over 4 and 3 over 4 so we can simply take it at a uh, whole power so the answer is px py 3 whole power 3 over 4 so again we can say that okay, this is the same the Hickson divide function so this is about the Shefford lemma so Shefford lemma property says that take the partial derivative of the commodities price so we can directly can get the demand function